Right, let's get into this boy. Something like that. Uh, uh, how now, brown cow? How now, brown? Are you ready? Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back with another video, and today we're letting you guys know what's in our bag for winter 2017. 27, no, that's not the same year to me. That's it's not the same that year. That makes sense. That is the same year. It's 2018. But years Technically, right. it is the same year, yes. It is, but like well, after we... 17 comes 18. Yes. So I've never heard of 2017 and then 17 again. No. That's not how they work. But you said it though. And the tape's rolling. But you know what I mean. Yes. So as you mentioned, this is our sneaker rotation for winter 2017 slash 2018. These are these shoes that we both have in our bag for practice, game day, workout, or not doing sneaker reviews basically. Yep. And these are the shoes that we basically can't get off our feet. So let's get straight into it. So the first shoe in my bag has been in that bag for a minute. Talking about not getting off my feet, they just won't do it. It's actually been years and I refuse to take them off. And uh, yeah, so my first shoe, is a Jordan 29. Now, I have spoke about this shoe already in past videos. A lot of other people have as well. This shoe is just incredible. Uh, I wish they just stopped making them after this, quite frankly. Yeah. That would have been perfect. It's arguably the greatest sneaker of all it's time. It's arguably the yeah. greatest basketball shoe of all time. Probably top two of all the Jordan line. Uh, incredible stuff. Yeah. Truly incredible He's stuff. He's number one, if not the Jordan 29. Uh, no, I when I said top two, I meant it was top one. They just have another one that's next to it. Which is which one? Probably the 29 low. <laughs> 29 low and 29? Yeah, I can't. Oh, one and two. Fair enough. Makes sense. So really, a truly incredible shoe from the traction to the upper to the support to the aesthetic. Like I said in the last video, my only regret is I only picked this colorway up. But I am happy to announce, as of 10 minutes ago, I just bought another pair on Depop. Just bought another pair for an absolutely amazing price. I am so gassed. In the bag you go, safe. Now the first shoe in my rotation is a shoe that I bought almost a year ago now. Now I didn't have in my rotation last time because I haven't actually bought this shoe for almost six months. Mm. It's the PG1. I've been sleeping on this shoe, bro. I bought it a couple of times when I first bought it, of course. Didn't wear it for like six months. Mm. Bought it out again and I can't get my feet out of these. I love the PG1s. I love four foot zoom. It's so it good. It feels amazing. Four foot zoom over heel zoom all day. The PG1 provides that for me. The adjustable strap gives me probably the best fitting shoe that I've had in a long time. Nice. I love this shoe. Can't get it off my foot. Low top. Gets the job done. It's in my bag and it's staying there. So next in my bag, you've already seen it in the last video, is the Nike Hyperdunk 2017 Flyknit with React Cushioning. I must say that part because the React Cushioning is buff. Felt really good under the foot, traction was amazing, uppers are amazing. Again, can't get them off my foot. They just they're light, they're comfortable, they're peng, they're buff, I don't know. It's a clean shoe, it's man. A clean shoe, it's bro. a clean shoe, bro. So overall, of course. Overall, the Hyperdog 2017 is very, very, very clean. Very clean shoe. And if you haven't got a pair yet, go get a pair, because I know there's actually a bunch of sales going on right now at mm -hmm. them. So go get yourself a pair, at least go try them on, and if you're not satisfied, I'll give you your money back. No, you won't. You're right. So next up in my rotation is another shoe that I find really hard to get off my foot. Obviously, I mentioned the PG1s I can't get off my foot. But when I do get those off my feet, it's the Dame 1 that I'm hooping in. The Dame 1 is probably the best shoe that Adidas has given us this year. I know I've spoken about... It's a Dame 1 twice. Did I say Dame 1? That's the Dame 1. Dame 4. Not the 1, it's the 4. This is the four. Because I yeah, you said four and I said when you said four, I said that's the one, it's not the one. The Did four. I say four? You said one. Twice. Alright, I'll go I'll go back. I was gonna start then because you're pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> so next up <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> now the Dame 4 is probably the best shoe Adidas has made for gods. Being a god myself, I love the Dame 4s. The bounce cushioning is fantastic. It's an amazing balance between low responsive cushioning that provides you with decent impact protection as well. That one piece construction is something that I love. The TPU yarns underneath the mesh or the neoprene collar is beautiful. The one-to-one -one fit is amazing. 
Day in four smashed it in my rotation. It's staying there. I love the shoe. So last but not least, a shoe that's in our bag. So both of us, both yeah. of them involved. A shoe that just got here, in fact, mm -hmm. but came in with an absolute madness. I'll call it the rookie of the year that made the all-star game and then got MVP. Oh, nice. Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, let's show them what it is. The Nike Carry 4. Oh my God, what an incredible shoe. We've spoken about the uh. shoe in our top five. If you haven't seen that video, I suggest you go watch that video because this shoe is absolutely incredible. It just takes every box. Every box. And every box. I just love balling in this shoe. I have to tell myself to not ball in this shoe. That's how amazing this shoe is. To give myself some run in other shoes. But this shoe is just incredible. I love balling in this shoe, bro. Yeah, I hear that. I think so many times we're forced to do performance reviews. Yeah. This shoe makes me just want to just not. Yeah, like it's it. that good. Let's just quit this YouTube thing. I'm, the fab, chill. <laughs> <laughs> chill, bro. Chill, bro. Chill. I'm just saying, bro, chill. Okay, let's not quit this YouTube thing, but the Kyrie 4 is an incredible shoe that makes me not want to do performance reviews because this shoe is just that good. I don't want to take them off. Yeah. So this is both in our rotation, and it's probably going to stay there till... To infinity and beyond! So alright guys, there you have it. That's what's in our bag for 2017-2018 winter. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you agreed with some of those shoes, let us know in the comment section below and let us know what's inside your bag as well. Flo, want to tell them the socials? Flo? Flo! Sorry. Um, follow us on Instagram and um, at purekicks.ig and Twitter also at purekicks underscore TW. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be up to date with everything Pure Kicks, from the performance reviews to the comparisons to what's in our bag as well. That's it from us. That's what's in our bag for winter. This is Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.